Hey, this is uh, BoardBrain coming at you with another blockchain educational video. This one is concerning true seniorage dollar um, and specifically uh, their fork um, or their, their, their kind of their, their, their side chain. <laughs> uh, okay, so basically this is a seniorage uh, dollar project. It launched on Ethereum. It's been out for I don't know, three or four weeks or something. And uh, they decided to kind of uh, put it on Binance Smart Chain to take advantage of the gas costs, as uh, the gas costs on Ethereum are being very prohibitive these days. Uh, now there's plans for a bridge that's going to happen sometime in February. I'm not really sure. I just know the developer is uh, this guy, Dr. Dev. He's... Uh, seems to not sleep <laughs> and there's constant updates every day so i don't know it's just a thing so you know interesting novel projects it's, it's the first uh seniorage project uh outside of ethereum as, to my knowledge and the first one on binance smart chain so i don't know new territory and the bootstrapping phase is a just about to start so i gotta hurry up with this video and uh get my stuff locked in Anyway, uh, of course, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research. Be safe. Have fun out there. Um, when I do these educational videos, uh, it's, I'm not trying to... Look, it, it, you know, if I'm doing the video, I have interest. I'm, I'm actually, you know, sending the money and doing, doing the thing, right? Uh, I have my own reasons. I've done my own research. Uh, but, you know, don't blindly follow me. Don't blindly follow anyone. It doesn't matter who they are. You know, just uh, you know, do your own research. You know, make sure make sure you're not just uh, following people. Because when you just follow people blindly, that's when you uh, that's when you get wrecked 99% of the time. Um, and of course, this is for crypto society. Um, you know, uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that kind of stuff, and uh, you know, thumbs thumbs up. Uh, all, all the relevant links will be included in the description. And, uh, yeah, you know, find, find us on the uh, relevant uh, social media channels. Find me, find Crypto Society on Twitter, Telegram, uh, Medium, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, hit us up. Find us if, uh, if, you, if, uh, if you're interested. So, anyway, um, to, to dig in, <clears throat> I did a, a previous video on... Uh, dialing in uh, Binance Smart Chain for MetaMask, which you need for this process. Um, and uh, so, of course, uh, you want to set that up first. Binance Smart Chain is not Ethereum. Um, it's a sort of sidechain of Ethereum. The tokens on Binance Smart Chain are not ERC-20 tokens. So unless you set up MetaMask properly, you might be sending your tokens into a black hole. So just make sure you know what you're doing first. Uh, and if you want to know, then, uh, you know, you can watch the, 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 the video I made on setting up MetaMask for Binance Smart Chain or, um, you know, true seniorage dollar here. If you scroll down, they've got a medium page here. You can click on their medium page here, uh, truedollar.finance. And uh, basically... They, they post a Medium article pretty much every day, and they go through the whole motions on Binance Smart Chain, They'll, uh, or on Binance website, they have uh, tutorials on how to do it. So, you know, watch my video, go go research, make sure you know what you're doing, because you don't want to be sending your, uh, you know, your tokens into a black hole, and then poof, they're gone. So, you know, don't don't come to me saying, oh, I watched your stuff, and then I sent my stuff off into space, and now I lost all, all this money. I'm literally telling you, do not do that. Make sure you know what you're doing. So anyway, um, the quick basics on seniorage dollars. Uh, you know, I'm actually, you know, I don't know how long this, the transactions are going to take, so maybe I should just dig in. Um, <clears throat> but, okay, so the very basics are seniorage tokens are a new type of thing. I think the first one might have been share. Uh, and... You know, there's the ESD and DSD are, are two of the, the big popular ones, uh, but there's a bunch of other copycats. You know, TSD is essentially a fork of, uh, you know, ESD, DSD. Um, 
but uh, what they did that was different was uh, instead of having 24-hour epochs, they, they said, let's do one-hour epochs. And now on uh, Binance Smart Chain, they're actually going to 15-minute uh, epochs. So, uh, you know, there's, there's a DAO, there's liquidity, and then there's the bootstrapping phase. In the bootstrapping phase, people are providing to the DAO and providing liquidity. And from that, they're gaining passive rewards. So the supply is widening. You know, they start with 3,000 tokens, and they're just pumping out uh, tokens in, uh, depending on whatever. And the more people go into DAO, the lower the rewards. And the more people go into liquidity, the lower the rewards. And uh, so in bootstrapping phase, if you buy it, TSD tokens, you know, they're, you're, they're just going to be losing value because the whole point is the token supply expands. Um, you know, the entry price is, say, you know, $200 a token or something at the beginning, and then they slowly goes down until it hits $1. Now, what these tokens usually do is they, they go below $1, and then it goes into the secondary phase where uh, there's coupons. So you, depending on how much lower than a dollar it goes, the percentage of a coupon goes up. So, you know, you buy, uh, you spend, you, you, you burn the TSD tokens or the, the seniorage dollar tokens to get these coupons. So if it's like 10 cents instead of a dollar, well, you're going to get a nice premium on the coupons. And essentially when the, when the price goes up, you can cash in the coupons once it hits a dollar or whatever, and you, you get more money than what you burnt, essentially. Um, so there's a bunch of these mechanisms. It's, to be honest, there's a lot of math. It's sort of convoluted. And the goalposts are moving while you're doing this. When you want to unlock from DAO on Ethereum, when you want to unlock from DAO, it's 72 hours. and liquidity, it's 24 hours. Now with Binance Smart Chain, a uh, fork of this, it's 72 hours for DAO and 48 hours in liquidity. And now I'm, I'm hoping I'm right with all the figures here. I believe I am. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions, you can go to this website, and you go down here, and you go to the media, or right here, Telegram, and you go into the room, and you, you can ask the developer himself, and, uh, and, and you know, try to, try to figure it out. So anyway, I figure, let's, let's just dig in. So uh, the first thing we could do is go to uh, uh, PancakeSwap here. So PancakeSwap is like, basically it's like Uniswap fork on Binance Smart Chain. Um, here we're going to connect and I'm going to go to MetaMask Wallet and all the way down here to TSD. So I connect my wallet. <clears throat> all right, so I put in a balance of BNB already. Now BNB token on PancakeSwap acts as uh, gas on the network, the same as Ethereum does. So I need to keep a bit of this in my wallet. Now, the trading pair is, uh, I believe it's uh, it's, B, it's BUSD. So I need to buy BUSD. So I come down here and I select BUSD. And then I go max. Oh, no, I don't want max, right? So I'll click, I don't know what, 21. Now. You know, if it's Ethereum, I don't know. So I don't know the exact value. This is uh, close to an ETH worth, I believe, of, of BNB, roughly. Um, I probably don't need that much left in there for gas because the gas costs on this are just, like, ludicrously low compared to Ethereum. It's, like, $0.05 cents or something instead of, you know, 20 bucks or whatever. If you watch some of my videos, you'll see the ludicrous costs of, uh, of uh, Ethereum gas. But anyway, so I'm going to do 21 BNB tokens. This is roughly $911 uh, BUSD. BUSD is uh, the stable coin for... Now, BUSD has an ERC-20 equivalent, and there is a bridge through with a Binance something uh, where you can swap BUSD uh, on Binance Smart Chain version, BEC-20, to Ethereum, ERC-20. So you can swap them back and forth. But if you have an ERC-20 version of BUSD and you send it here, then you, like, you're going to lose your money. Okay, so just, just know what you're, you're doing. Now, like, click on MetaMask. This is very important just because I've got to touch base on this from before. Is I click here. 
Ethereum mainnet, right? I'm not on Ethereum mainnet. I'm on smart chain. I've set up the custom um, RPC custom network. Here it is, right? So buying smart chain. So I'm on buying a smart chain. That's important. So anyway, here it is. Swap. It's simple as that. I got to do the swap. So boom, boom, boom. And now we get this back. The amount. Um, so you know, I don't know what that is in US dollars. MetaMask is not showing it because it's a side chain and it's not Ethereum, but suffice to say it is very, very, very low, much, much, much lower than a dollar. And did I have a fart? <laughs> I think I might have. Okay, no, I didn't. All right, so the transaction goes through. Now, um, from here, I gotta find TUSD. Go all the way down, and should be here, and it's not. So, TSD. And I don't see it yet. So, might have to go gather it. So, if we kick uh, the Binance logo here and uh, snapshot of BSC pre location, blah, blah, blah. Now I had burned coupons, and they had a deal that if you burn, uh, or if you uh, burn TSD on Ethereum for coupons, that when they launch the uh, Binance Smart Chain version, you'll be airdropped Binance Smart Chain versions of TSD. So that's what I have. So pancake contract. So right here. Mm. Nope. Uh, right here. So I'm going to switch to BUSD. And all right, so so here are the deal. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm creating liquidity pool tokens. And to do that, it's the same thing. It's like a 50-50%, basically just like Uniswap. So because I've got 912, I'll do, uh, what, like four, 450? Um, four, no, 450, so that's roughly half, which will get me 10. Oh, <laughs> I forgot, I actually have uh, TSD tokens in there. I've got a roughly eight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually put in um, 250. That should spit me out to roughly half. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have uh, my 5.9 TSD and then add it to my eight or whatever I have in here. Let's just check real quick. I'm not sure if you noticed the speed of that transaction that just happened, but it's quite, quite fast. So uh, judging from here, I'll have uh, just over uh, 14 TSD tokens when this is done. So approve. Four cents. Nice. Four cents is more like it, you know? Just approving the transaction. Four cents American, that's that's not gonna hurt for pretty much anyone on this planet, you know? Uh, it's something that's totally doable. You, you know, you could be, you could, because of four cents and now swap, all right? And confirm swap. And I wonder, gonna come out yeah so this is coming out uh, this is in BNB and it's not a dollar amount the previous one I believe is dollar amount uh, in USD so I don't know you know MetaMask hopefully MetaMask eventually uh, brings in integration for some of these side chains because the side chains are going to be becoming more and more popular as uh, you know uh, uh, crypto becomes more popular and there's more and more tools and boom look at that speed just flying and I don't have to burn the bank to, to do this stuff. Well, I, yeah, I gotta say, this is my first time doing this, by the way, so um, I, I am quite happy with, uh, with how this is working. So, um, now, liquidity. So I'm gonna add liquidity, and I'm going to pick BUSD, and I'm gonna pick TSD, where is it? 
Where is where is my TSD? <laughs> She's not there. She's not there. So let's let's see if I type it in. I'm not getting it. So let's go over here. There's a way to do it. So I go here to buy and I select. That that should that should be it. Oh yeah. So see up here. Now there's different ways to do this. I can go into BSC scan, which is the Binance Spark Chain version of either scan. There's a link there. A whole bunch of ways to do it. This way I'm gonna do it is, you know, when I'm here in the BSC version of True Dollar Finance, and I you know, from here. And I'll be connecting the wallet next, but uh, oh no, <laughs> the time is ticking down. I gotta, I gotta do this really quickly. So, uh, yeah. So Dow is the play. Hey, Dow is the play. That's got the higher percentage, and it auto compounds. Okay. So um, when I click uh, buy BUSD, no TUSD. Hmm. Add liquidity. All right, so I'll just do it through the website. Boom. So disconnect these. Here we go. Um, all right, so TS, uh, TSD, BUSD. So I go max, and then this comes out. So that's my max of this, and then here, 629 is less than 662, so that's good. So then I approve my BSD, or uh, my, sorry, my TSD, BUSD. LP tokens for cents confirm. Good thing this is happening so fast. I might be I might miss uh, the opening for bootstrapping phase. So liquidity is being provided. Now over here, uh, I'm in BSC True Dollar Finance, right? So confirmed. There it is, and I connect the wallet and. Where is it? All right, Dow. So Dow here, 13% uh, percent hourly. And I'll stage it. So here's how we do this. Boom. Yeah, so these senior orders projects, it's, it's essentially it's a type of decentralized stable coin is the point. Now, I haven't seen one yet that's been actually fully successful in doing it, but essentially, I, I, the technology is really interesting. It's still very experimental, okay? Very experimental. But I feel like at some point, this is, uh, this is gonna work. So we go max. Um, Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm tripping out here. So we're going to go into the LP report, uh, sorry, LP reward pool, because I made LP tokens. So, I, <laughs> so I'm messing up everything here. So Dow was the play, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to go with LP tokens. And uh, so I'm approving. And uh, yeah, you know, so I think one of these seniorage projects, and maybe this is the one they're gonna um, basically they're gonna be successful. There's gonna the the mechanisms and the experimentation they're doing right now. Eventually, someone's gonna be successful, and they're gonna have a uh, um, they'll be successful at doing this. So I should have Cake LP in my wallet. Oh, here we go. I need it to do the last uh, motion, actually supply the LP tokens. And you know what? I'm going to reject this really quickly, and I'll tell you why. Confirm. Okay. No. So I'm going to reject this because I like the DAO. I like the rewards from the DAO a little bit more. So I'm actually going to dial this down to, let's say, uh, 8. 
and then I'm going to supply, confirm, and I'm going to have 2.85% of the supply with that in LP. But LP doesn't auto compound, so me personally, I think I'm just going to go with this. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to do Dow and LP. And as soon as we get the little pop-up here that's saying the transaction's gone through, then I'll be able to, I'll have the LP, the Cake LP tokens. I'll be able to put them in. So the first stage is bought, uh, staging them. Here we go. And any second now, might have to refresh the page. Connect the wallet. Boom. Max. There we go. Deposit. So I'm staging them. Now this is a lot of transactions. When you do this on Ethereum, it's out to lunch. It, it, it uh, takes quite a lot of time. So we stage them, and then we bond them. And when you bond it, there's going to be a 24-hour lockup window. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. This is, uh, this is how we do it. All right, so transaction confirmed. And now we go down here. So we go bond. So we go max and we go bond with our 52, I think it was, uh, cake LP tokens for a total of just under 3% of the total supply. So, <clears throat> confirmed. So basically, uh, I will, every 15 minutes, I'll get a reward of TSD here and I can claim it. Um, but to claim it, I have to, you know, unbond and unstage 24 hour lockup. So this is sort of, I got to leave this in for a while, build up some rewards before I do any of that, uh, stuff. Anyway, so there we go. That LP is done. Now for Dow, I'm going to show you how to do this. And of course, okay. So for liquidity, we've got an 8.54% hourly and with Dow, We've got a 13.61%. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm actually going to go back here and I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to exchange. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually I'm going to go back to the dashboard really quick because it's it's uh, easier. They you know this is brand new. It's just launching right now. So uh, in uh, BSC they haven't actually uh, put everything in. Um, so buy TSD. And um, sh boom, sh TSD should pop up here any second now. And I'm actually going to switch this to BUSD because I have more of that. So I understand TSD is being spent. And BUSD right here. And so I'm going to go max. Let's just do it. Max, all right, boom. Um, max, oh, <laughs> sorry. Max BUSD into TSD. I'm, uh, I've got the butterfingers going today and I'm hitting all the buttons wrong. So <clears throat> please, uh, <laughs> this is my first time doing this, so please <laughs> excuse me. I hope no one's getting too uh, confused from uh, my actions here. So confirmed. All right. So I've cashed out all of my BUSD and now I just got a stack of T TSD, uh, Binance Smart Chain TSD. And I come back here. So I'm in Binance Smart Chain, BSC, TrueDollar.Finance. I'm going to go to the DAO. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go max TSD for staging. I'm going to deposit. And here we go. We confirm. And wait a couple seconds, and then we'll go to the bonding. Now, I'm not going to show you exactly, like, like I'm not going to show you everything, everything. Uh, but suffice to say, um, you know, so staged, here it is, bonded, none. But here it is, so I'm going to bond. So yeah, look, I'm not going to wait around or, or go back and uh, say, oh, and here's two hours later, and this is what my rewards are. Suffice to say, um, you know, the basics here, uh, daily, 2,025% rewards in the DAO with a 72-hour 
unbonding period where you to claim the rewards where you will not be gaining passive rewards. So you stage it, you bond it, you're gaining passive rewards on the next epoch. But if you want to collect your rewards, you unbond and go to stage, and then you have to wait for 72 hours, and at that point, you can unstage it. So the problem is, and this is where the game theory comes in, is that as the epochs pass, the supply increases of TST, but then the price decreases. However, more people buying the token will have the decrease going on a lower arc than the supply increasing. So, you know, if you're able to essentially, like if, if you invest and you see that there's not a lot of people investing in the project, then it's not really worth it during the bootstrapping phase to really cash out because in 72 hours you're what you thought was worth you know a thousand dollars by the time you cash it out it might be worth two hundred dollars might be worth six hundred dollars right uh maybe maybe 50 bucks like who knows right uh with these 15 minute epochs this is a total unforeseen territory when it comes to seniorage dollars although i think i think zsd might have done 15 minute epochs on ethereum but i don't think it really works too well in ethereum the gas costs are too high I don't know, but I think these mechanisms for creating stablecoin, the closer together the epochs are, the in theory, the more stable it should be. So, like I said, one of these projects is going to figure it out eventually and create a stablecoin that's more or less like fairly stable, and it's going to be an interesting new decentralized way to create a stable coin. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, uh, it's interesting. I don't know. And maybe in the end it'll all be a huge failed experiment, but I'm just, me personally, I'm just really into the tech. I'm really into these experiments, and uh, I like participating in some of the cutting-edge stuff. You know, as, as, you know I, I try not to get too focused. I'm, I'm no whale, right? I'm not sitting on a million dollars or anything uh, remotely close, but... Uh, you know, my crypto gains that I've made, I feel like some of that's found money. Now, this is me personally, so you might not be like this, but me personally, some of that's found money. So I like to play around with some of these experimental stuff. And sometimes I get rugged, sometimes I, I lose like all of my money, and then sometimes it works out well. And I figure, uh, whatever, it's all in the name of fun. Um, now, of course, if, if you're not, if you're a more prudent investor, and you're more uh, concerned with, uh, and where are we? Max bond. All right, so we're bonded. Yeah. So basically, you know, if you're if you're a bit more of a cautious investor, uh, if you don't have a lot of money, if you're just getting into blockchain, I mean, stick to the basics. Buy Bitcoin. Buy Ethereum. I don't know what to tell you. Try to you know set a limit order on a on a centralized exchange. You know, do your own research. All that stuff. This is totally, um, you know, experimental stuff. So when I say you know. Do your own research when it comes to these uh, experimental DeFi kind of stuff. Like, really, really do your own research. But uh, you know, don't when you're dealing with high risk stuff um, and experimental stuff, uh, as opposed to like uh, proven commodities. Uh, the you know, don't risk anything you're not willing on to lose. Is what I would really caution. So. You know, not to say that I think this is a rug or anything, or that this is there's anything sketchy about this project. I like the project. I like the reason why I'm doing this is because I've I really like the uh, the developer uh, and all the updates and the new fresh ideas that they're bringing to the space. So I'm participating a little bit, and I just I don't know. I like it. So like I said, yeah, do your own research. Make sure you're uh, you know. You're being safe when you're doing all this kind of stuff, and don't risk anything you're not willing to lose. Anyway, this this video has gone on for way too long, and I I gotta try to do another couple <laughs> by the end of tonight. Uh, that was the plan anyway. So, yeah, uh, Seniorage, you know, uh, they're trying to create stable coins through various mechanisms, pressuring a price to go up and down based on certain parameters. Very experimental, very interesting, and. Uh, I'm really excited to see what's uh, in store for the future of this space. And I'm also, I'm very interested in, in this, uh, this experiment. 
like I said at the beginning, you know, this is the first seniorage token that's been taken off of Ethereum and put into a new place where there's incredibly low gas prices. So not only does this open up the possibility for more people with lower buying power to participate in a seniorage project, um, but also how does the low gas costs um, impact the, uh, the mechanics of the token? I'm, like, I'm not really sure. Like, I don't think... Like, the developer will tell you, again, one of the reasons why I really like the project, he's very candid about some of this stuff. He says, you know, don't invest anything you're not willing to lose, and this is highly experimental, and I have no idea how it's going to turn out. And, you know, when he'll talk about this, he'll say, yeah, I don't know, it's uh, it's never been done before, so, you know, buckle up, buttercup, <laughs> you're in for a ride. So, I'm on for the ride, and, uh, you know, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully I work, it, it all works out. Anyway, with all that said, uh, you know, be safe, have fun, take care of each other in these trying times. And uh, yeah, this is BorgBrain signing out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, find me on Twitter and stuff and follow. give CS a follow. Uh, we're, a, we're a fun group of people. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Peace.